Hey everybody, Tucson Kent here. You know, I was going over some data the other day and tracking statistics in the Tucson real estate market for an investor client of mine, and I really found some incredible numbers, and I wanted to share them with you. Because real estate, even though we've had a hit, if you're looking at it from an investment side, it's still doing really good. Check it out. How did your investment perform over the past 10 years? Whether it was real estate or Dow Jones stocks or whatever, let's take a look at some of the numbers and see what's happening here, okay? Now, investments, you generally look at a five year and a 10 year period and see how it's performed over a period of time rather than you know, one year it went down, one year it went up. You want to see what an average looks like. And here, we've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We're looking at 1999 to 2004, right before the real estate bubble happened, okay? Before all the prices just started going kablooey and going crazy. So, if you took this five-year period from 1999 to 2004 with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, went up 15.4%. So your investment that you made in 1999 gained 15% in value over that five years. Okay, now the average Tucson single-family home at that time, it increased in value 41.7%. So in that five year period, your average home in Tucson gained nearly 42% in value. Pretty good, huh? Now let's look over here. Another section of Tucson is the university area single family home. Now look at how that performed. 67.8% increase in value over the same time period. So from 1999 to 2004, the average Tucson home did more than double what the Dow Jones Industrial Average did, and the university area homes, those did over four times what the Dow Jones Industrial did. Pretty interesting, huh? Now, let's take a look at what happened the last five years, okay? Bear with me just a moment here. If you made an investment in 2004 and are looking at what that investment is worth today, okay, if you put your money in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you would have lost 21% of the value, okay? 21%, that's a pretty significant chunk, okay? And your average Tucson home, you lost money too, but you only lost 3.8%. So about 4% of the value is gone. Now this period includes the big bubble when all the prices went really high. Okay, now they've come back down. But that's still not a really bad loss. Didn't make any money, but you know, unless you refinanced like two or three times, or anyhow, whatever. Now look at what happened in the university area. The average single family home in the University of Arizona area beat the odds. You made 4%. Even after all the kablooey and the coming down, still made 4%. Now compared to what else is happening in the economy with the Dow Jones, that's a pretty nice return. I mean, you gotta face it. Okay, so now we've seen two five-year periods. Seen the one from 2004 to 2009, where everything went to, well, you know where. And then we saw 1999 to 2004, back before everything got kind of crazy. So let's add these together and see what the performance of these investments is like over the past 10 years, okay? Okay, 
1999 to 2009, here's what we've got. Okay, money you put into the Dow Jones Industrial Average back in 1999. Now, these are what people call the blue chip stocks, okay? And 1999 to 2009, you lost 8.8 percent. .8%. That's a pretty significant drop. I mean, you're supposed to be making money when you're buying blue chips, but you know, times are kind of crazy, so anyhow. Now, the average Tucson home over this 10 year period, before all the price jumps, before all the price drops, like the roller coaster ride we've been on, okay, you held on to it for 10 years, it's increased in value by 36%. That's not really the nightmare that it really seems to be. Okay? Not great return on investment, but 36% increase if you bought in 1999. Look at what the university area has done, okay? Over the same 10 year period where you lost nearly 10% on your Dow Jones stocks and you gain 36% on the average home, your university area average, you gain 74%. So if you take that over 10 years, that's a 7% return on your investment. Kind of interesting, huh? Now you know why I wanted to share this with you, because it kind of puts a hole in the balloon, the, the myth balloon of... Okay, let me make one thing very, very clear. Okay, I am not an investment advisor. I don't have the license for it. I don't have the training for it. I can't tell you how, whether to buy stocks or bonds or to invest in mutual funds. That's not my game. Real estate's my game. But to me, the numbers really don't lie. Okay, nice thing I think about real estate is real estate you can get rent. Can't get rent from stocks. This is Tucson Kent. Stick around because here in the next installment I'm going to break this down into separate neighborhoods and then we'll really see some interesting numbers and ones that will really blow you away. Bye bye. Thanks. So if you like the numbers you've seen and you're thinking about investing in Tucson real estate, I can help you. If you're thinking about stocks, I can't. You gotta go talk to somebody else. This is Tucson Kent. Thanks for listening. See you at the closing table.